1 a.m. I was in a shower and then I felt the pain traveling from my back to my left chest. So I was kind of worried that it's going to be an onset of a heart attack. So I called my okay. daughter. I'll wait for you. When we rushed to Sengkang Hospital, told the doctor that I was having chest pain. He did some tests, took my blood at 2 a.m., came back and says, you're fine. There's no symptoms of heart attack, no signs of heart attack. But then at 5 a.m., he came back again, did another round of blood tests and discharged me at 6 with some painkillers and a 3 days MC. Doctors were puzzled at what 56-year-old Lionel Lee was experiencing. And after several tests, Mr. Lee was discharged without an official diagnosis. Despite his family's history of heart disease, what struck Mr. Lee was actually something very different. He had a viral infection, and the virus was attacking his nervous system. It sounds scary, but what if I told you that the varicella zoster virus is actually pretty common, and that some of us might even have it laying dormant in our bodies? If you've had chicken pox before, the virus actually remains in certain nerve cells, and in one in three individuals, the virus reactivates, causing shingles. Well, the pain was still there after the next couple of days, but on Thursday night, I saw blisters on my chest, and I quickly went to the mirror, turned to the back, and oh my God, there was a large patch of uh, rashes on my back. So I took a photo, sent it to my doctor, and she says, come and see me tomorrow morning. Pain was periodically coming in, and I can't sleep in the middle of the night at all. Shingles is an infectious disease that causes a band of blistering and painful rashes in one area of the body. It's also known as the snake disease because of how the rash can wrap itself around the body like a python constricting its prey. The disease also causes headaches, sensitivity to light, upset stomachs and fevers. But the worst symptom yet is still the pain caused by damaged nerve cells. The pain at the back was bad, so it feels like somebody's stabbing me at the back, you know. Unfortunately, in some cases, the pain can even become chronic and last for up to months or years. So, how does one get shingles? I had chicken pox when I was 12, so um, the virus stays in the body. My doctor told me it's due to stress that it will surface again and then it will reinfect. For those who have not gotten chicken pox before, shingles cannot be directly spread from one person to another. However, the varicella zoster virus is contagious and can be spread through contact with open blisters caused by shingles. But luckily, there are vaccines to protect against the disease. These vaccines boost immunity and prevent the reactivation of the varicella zoster virus. While there's no cure for shingles, antiviral medication can help slow the progress of the rash and medication can help manage the pain caused by shingles if administered early. Rest and stress reduction can help speed up recovery too. Uh, my doctor was telling me, set the timing every five hours, you have to finish the entire course. So I think it took me about three days. Yeah, and she prescribed calamine lotions as well for the, for the each, but it didn't help. Well, I guess it's all about awareness. Uh, my dad had it twice, my mom had it once, and um, I wasn't aware of the preventive options that were available then. I guess it's complacency, yeah, it's, it's always, it won't be me, it's always somebody else. Found this video helpful? Share it to spread awareness on shingles.